Hey guys, welcome back on this channel. Today it's a food review. And remember, guys, if you like food reviews, remember to um, to uh, give it a like. And if you really like this uh, food review, then subscribe if you like seeing that type of content. But um, so what we're doing today is we're going to do a taste test between Popeyes chicken tenders and McDonald's chicken nuggets. So get ready, folks. We're going to do that in just a moment. I just want to remind you to also comment and let me know what you think if you've tried these two and which one you think is better. We're also going to do a little taste test with the cinnamon apple pie. We're going to see what that's like and also new at Popeye's are these bonnets, chocolate bonnets. We're going to see what they taste like. I forgot about that. Oh, by the way, what did you think? We we're going to get an opinion. What did you think of the um, chicken, the drumstick at Popeye's versus KFC? Which is better? We're going to get a, uh, an opinion from a 10-year-old. So you're going to get an, uh, you know, an adult version and like a 10-year-old's uh, opinion. KFC. All right, he likes the KFC better. Um, let me just show you what the drumstick at Popeyes. This is the mild version. I'm just gonna take a bite, see which one I like better. Sorry for the crunching noises, but then you know it's official. Um, well. Popeyes only has one version, though. You know, it's like a little extra crispy, but at KFC, they give you different versions. I mean, you could get grilled, you could get extra crispy, and the other one is um, just the original. All right, I'm, I, I like Popeyes better, I'm gonna, I have to tell you. So it's tied with that. 10-year-old likes KFC. The adult likes Popeyes. Now, now, now we're going to try McDonald's Nuggets versus the um, tenders at Popeyes. Well, so, try this all right, you try you try the nugget. I'll try the tender, and then we'll we'll switch. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now. I'm gonna give you a tender now. Mm -hmm. You tell me which tastes better. I'm gonna compare it. Try one of these nuggets. Mm. Okay, well, I wanna chew, chew a little. Sorry again for the crunching noises, but you know it's official. And guys, if you like to see these videos right away, then remember to hit that notification bell. And tell your friends, share this, share this video. We, we, need, all, we need all the uh, subscribers we can get so we can, can, we have to pay for this. So, you know, we, we need some subscribers, right? And they're paying money for all this stuff. It's like a $50 meal between McDonald's and Popeye's. So if you, like these, if you like to keep seeing this, you got to keep um, subscribing. All right, what do you have to say? I got to say, I like the McDonald's better. Popeye's is, is not the right taste. Okay. All right. He thinks that McDonald's chicken McNuggets are better. I actually think that these are better. I like the Popeyes better. So again, it's tied one to one. You know what? We're going to need like a, um, next time we get a third person so we can break the tie. Sorry guys. But I like the, um, it has like more like breading on it. It's like, like extra crispy breading which they don't have on the mcnuggets so i that's why i like it better but 
Okay. Why did you? How come you like that? You don't like it because why? All right. Let's see. What... What? It doesn't taste like chicken. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's his opinion. Now we're gonna compare the apple pies. We all know what the apple pie tastes like. We're gonna see, you know what the one tastes like at McDonald's, right? All right, try the one. It looks like the McDonald's. I, I, you know what? We're gonna have to see, I think they taste I'm not even going to say what I think. Let's get his opinion first. Let's get the kid's opinion. Come on, no, just try one bite. One bite, one bite. One bite, one bite. Okay. All right, he doesn't want to try it. I'll tell you what. It, they're pretty much the same. Uh, you know what? You, you can't go wrong with either one. All right, last thing. Last thing is the bananas. We're gonna see what they look like first. Hmm, they come in like they, they're small. Come on, I've been to New Orleans or New Orleans, whatever you want to call it, and the bananas are like twice the size of this, from what I remember. I want you to comment below and tell me, especially if you're from that area and you've been to New Orleans or New Orleans or New Orleans, tell me what you think as far as size the size goes but i'm gonna try it here you ready you want to try it you don't want it all right he doesn't want to try it uh, here we go mm. Mm. well they're they're pretty good i mean i just like the regular bananas without the chocolate i just i think those are better i mean these are all right but it's just all you taste is the chocolate it, anyway they're okay if you like that chocolatey filling but i like just regular bananas without the chocolate all right there you go guys so one more time please give this a like and please subscribe so we can provide you with more content like this where you get food reviews and then we also have on this channel travel reviews we show you different places around the country and around the world and also product reviews and what else do we other something else i forget food reviews. no no we know food reviews product reviews travel reviews and um I, I, maybe that's it i don't know well, what else do we do what Oh, stock tips. He's right. We also, come on, what other place gives you stock tips? We told everyone to buy GameStop at, at $14 a share. And within a month, it was selling for almost $500 a share. So we said that before. You could look it up. Look in, my, in, in, in the content from December and you'll see. We were one of the first people, the only one. That was my first ever stock tip. So, uh, guys, I'm telling you right now, this channel, you got to subscribe. Where else do you get all these reviews plus stock tips that make you lots of money? Come on. I did one that was my first ever uh, stock tip. And if you had listened to it, you would have made tons, tons, tons of money. If you put in that, you, there was one guy, he put in 50000 and he made $17 million within a month. So if you put in a bunch of money when I said to, you could have been a multimillionaire. So this channel is saving you money by telling you what foods to get and not to get. And it's also making you some money. So see you later from the Empire State of New York, where I know this is fast food, but... I think, you know, New York's got the best um, the best food in the world. That's my opinion. But a lot of people think so, too. So see you later and take care. And remember to like and uh, also subscribe.